looks black and white, it still requires some form of uh, density and contrast correction. We call it color for lack of a better word. When this thing first started, we had something that looked very washed up. So what you're trying to do is maintain the contrast to make it look mysterious and spooky, but still see the detail. We can isolate an area of the frame and either make it darker or lighter. If we can fix it and not compromise the overall image, we usually try to fix it. The whole point of this process is to not let the viewer know that we were here. Vampires are pure myth. The superstition of yesterday can become the scientific reality of today. Dracula, it's a mono recording, and we're going to keep it mono and present it in a cleaner fashion. It goes through a process of going through perf by perf to make sure that we have no imperfections in that before we hang it on a reproducer. Once we have it up there, we are now going to bring it into a digital recorder, and basically that will be the element that we'll actually create a restoration from. We have some incredible artists who are able to go in and sonically deal with some of the issues that are inherent in the source material. As I'm going through, I can zoom in on various areas of the soundtrack and isolate pops, ticks, bumps, and individually clean up. The wear and tear of time is some of the biggest challenges. In the opening music of the film, which is from Swan Lake, just a very garbled piece where there's a speed change, you know, they call it wow. Fortunately, for this music cue existed in Spanish Dracula. So we were able to go back and find a, a matching piece of the same music with the same quality. Now it's clear again. There's a lot of noise that, that exists in the original soundtrack. When we listen to the raw track, there's just a, a horrible hiss throughout that entire picture. Now we really get to hear the movie in a clarity it's never been heard before. Listen to them, children of the night.